Hey guys, this is Richard from Wild Step. Right, this is my next re uh, review for you. This is the 4K Momentum Gaming Monitor of Philips. Okay, manual. We got a headphone bracket, HDMI, UK as well as Euro plugs. We also have a USB B cable and the stand as well as display and you've got the arm now we have the power cable power port we have hdmi 2.1 times 2 display port 1.4 times 2 we have usb times 1 which is usb b upstream it's usb 3.21 times 4 downstream with two fast port audio out and separate sync it's ips it's wled backlight the panel is 32 inches it is 3840 by 2160 resolution 4k 144 hertz one millisecond response time and display hdr 400 certified adaptive sync now the, uh, the feature set are it's 32 inches 144 hertz it is 3840 by 2160 it is ips it's got a, a wled um backlight and it's also 16 by 9 aspect ratio it's also hd a uh, hdr 40 uh, 400 certified and it's one of their gaming monitors now philips have got a lot more different skills They've got all the way from basic to portable e uh, econ. They've got um, design, professional, high performance. They've got a lot of different monitor skills. I will put the web, uh, website down below so you can go have a look. Uh, this monitor at the moment is 700 and I believe 750 pound. Uh, so let's get into the um, review itself. Uh, we will do some gameplays, we will show you the monitor itself and what it's like. Right, so this is going to be some gameplay of Spider-Man. Now I'm not going to put the volume all the way up because this isn't to do with uh, obviously the sound. This is more about the picture quality. Now this game is on, is uh, the native rev resolution is 4K, so uh, it's 144 hertz. And this looks absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's my first 4K experience and it looks absolutely amazing. The colours are fantastic. Uh, it's obviously my first 4K experience. I really do like 4K. Uh, at the moment, my monitor is a 2560x1440 monitor. And to be honest, I'm actually a bit sad I've got to give it back, but obviously it's the name of the game, it's one of those things. If I want to do tech reviews, I've got to be realistic, I can't, be kept, I can't keep everything. And to be honest, I wouldn't want to keep a monitor that's literally almost as much as just my CPU and RAM. No, sorry, my CPU, my RAM, I mean my CPU is like £400, the RAM is like a next 100 quid. Then you've got my SSD in, which is one terabyte, it's like a hundred quid. So you're talking, this is worth more than the majority of my PC. So uh, the colors are fantastic. It has got a lot of different uh, modes. What I will show you is they've got this little nipple at the back, which I do wish they would have put in a bit more. Right, you go. Right. So this, is, no, wait. No. Aha, right. So they have got gaming, they have got game settings, there's adaptive sync, it's got crosshair for um, for like shooting games, it's got a low uh, blue mode, it's got the input, which has got uh, HDMI 2.1 and it's got two ports of them, it has got HDMI refresh rate, pitch quality, you can do smart image, there's uh, contrast, smart contrast, uh, overscan, I believe that's like a, I think uh, PB... P mode, it's got audio, I believe these are 5 watt speakers, uh, it's got true colour, it's got language, it's got OSD, the setup, and that's pretty much it, it's got low. Okay, so this is a little uh, CSGO gameplay, now I'm not going to be doing any online matches because I don't see the point, 
because I don't want to mess anyone's game up. So what we'll do is we'll have a look in here. Oh, a new best. That looks nice. Right, so new map, right? So in the loading screen, we get about 112 FPS. It's not bad. So wait for this to load up now. Oh, if anyone wants to know, it's a Ryzen 9 uh, 13, uh, 5900X, it's got 32 gigs of RAM and it's an RTX 3070, all water cooled by bits power. Okay, let's go. Right, so we get in between 200, 190. 195, oh, 100, oh, 300, oh, 260. Ah, you bugger. Well, that's the CS Go. Now, what we'll do is we'll go back. We'll go off this now when we talk about if you should buy it or not. So, continue to watch. So overall, I mean, the Monta is fantastic. I like the Monta, but me personally, this obviously is my personal opinion. I prefer AOC because my brand Monta is AOC. I'm used to AOC. Uh, there's one thing about this that I really do like is that little nipple with the interface. That interface is lovely directly in the middle of the Monta. Um, I do like the 4K aspect because first time I ever try in 4K. Um, the next monitor I'm trying to get is a Porsche Design 32-inch monitor. Oh, it's about £1,700. I just want to play with it for a week. So, look, Elena, you know that I want that monitor. But the next monitor I'm going to suggest is one of AOC's top branded ones, like the uh, Aegon Pro versions. Uh, maybe the 4K version of that, or a high refresh rate one, like 250 I like a 1080p, something some normal game would buy. So, look, I, I've i enjoyed getting the monitors off AOC and Philips. Really enjoyed it. Uh, it's, it's, it's good for me to experience something that I could have in the future. Uh, I don't see myself going 4K yet. Uh... Not saying that my computer doesn't handle 4K. I mean, I've been playing my games for the last week all in 4K. You know, that's uh, what you call it, the WWE, there is uh, GTA, there's, um, there's my Total War games, there's my. Um, there's a lot of games. Uh, Anno, I've been playing that in, in 4K. That was really nice, Anno. I, I added a medium settings with Anno, but it looked really nice at 4K. Really nice. I get about 45 to 50 FPS each time. It was really nice. So, I mean, it's up to you guys. I recommend the Monta. It's very nice. The sleek, the stand, I like. the, the base part of it is nice because it's not like my Monta, which literally the base just comes out, boof, like that. But it's got a curve to it. It looks really nice. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. If you if you want to buy it, I will leave a link down below to Philips's website. As also, I will look for the actual monitor itself, and I'll put links down below. This is Richard from Welsh Day. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. More monitor reviews coming. Also, some air coolers from Deep Cool, and I've got more stuff coming from Thermorite and Be Quiet. So, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.